Here's a cute gift idea that you can make with just some scrap wood. It's a picture frame that's also a chessboard. We're the White family. We live in rural Alaska, and for us, it's DIY all day, every day. So this week we've been recovering from our trip to Atlanta and everybody got sick and we had back-to-back -back hockey tournaments that were traveling tournaments and we are barely surviving right now. So this week we took a little break from big projects and we tackled this. I'm going to get started on this project and I got all the materials that I'm going to need here. I'm going to use one by twos for the frame. These are just some scraps that we had left over, but you're going to need about five feet of one by twos all together. And then you're going to need a piece of quarter inch plywood that's 14 inches by 14 inches. I'm going to cut this down. Okay, so I'm cutting on my miter sauce, and what I'm going to do here is get this board lined up where I want it. But I want her to make a repeatable cut. So I'm going to set this right there. Alright, so now I'm going to cut the shorter parts of the frame. And those are 12 and a half. Be right there. I'm going to show you a little trick because my um, track won't go that far. So what I can do is just take any scrap wood piece, it doesn't really matter how long it is, I've got this board placed where I want it, and then butt this up, and then tighten it down. So it doesn't matter where this is set, I just have my marked here. Then I can go ahead and cut. So I only had two cuts here, so it's not a huge time saver, but if you had a lot of cuts to do, that could really save a lot of time. Okay, so I'll show you what I got here. So these are the longer guys, and these are the shorter guys. And these two are cut at 14, these two are cut at 12 and a half. And see, it all works out to 14. Alright, so I got the basic frame built out of the 1x2s and now I need to cut the plywood to fit over this. So there's a couple of different ways that you can cut plywood. Um, the first being you could even have your hardware store cut it for you. Uh, the second is you could use a circular saw. You would most likely want to draw a line and then clamp a guide to it and then cut along those, the guide to get a nice square cut. Um, but I happen to have a table saw, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. Okay, so I'm going to start putting this thing together, but there's a couple different ways you can put it together. You can screw it together, you can pocket hold it together. I am going to use an 18 gauge brad nailer, and this is the same nailer that you would use to like put the backs on furniture, to put trim up in your house, baseboard, a lot of different uses, uh, definitely a tool that you want to have. But whenever you use nails, you want to use some glue, so glue in there. And you're working with a nailer, um, it's like you need a third handle to kind of hold the board in place and then hold the nailer. So I'll just clamp that second board and then I have something to put pressure against. And I can just nail. Okay, so 
So simple enough um, to nail that together. And the other good news about using a nailer is I can just pull the nails out. And I'm using inch and a half there. And I can load it up with some short ones and then put the plywood on. So these are 5 8 inch long brad nails. Put that in. Okay, so how this is going to work is this will be the front and it'll be a frame and there'll be a little clip in there. And you can clip your photo in there. And then on the back, I've already started doing it, but uh, I'll mark out a, a chest grid. So I just kind of found the center and then found the center of that and then found the center of that, basically divided up into eights, made little marks, and now I've got this 12 inch frame, this 12 inch square. Hard part is going to be painting inside the lines. I'm already dreading it. Okay. All right. So Jacob's helped me with my craft project. Here we're just taping in between. So our tape was a little bit wider than our squares are going to be. So we're just using a utility knife to cut that tape down. So now we're going to cut the tape this way. All right, this so this is not going to work. <laughs> hopefully this works. We're going to peel that piece of tape and then stick it Oh, is it going to work? There. This is way over my pay grade. <laughs> this is too hard for you. <laughs> okay, we're just going to keep doing that. Hey, we're saving tape. Not so much worried about the tape. If we don't do it this way, it would end up being multiple steps of painting and... I'm not one of those people with a lot of extra time <laughs> right now. So, we're doing what we're doing. So are you going to paint with a giant roller? How are you going to paint? No, I'm going to use a little brush. So what are you going to paint these little squares with? The, the ones that are covered won't get painted at all. They won't? No. Alright, so we got all the squares taped off and I'm just making sure they're all nice and tight. And I'm just going to start staining them. So, we've got ebony trick is just kind of blotting. So we're doing this, uh, but it's really time consuming and there's some spots that it's bleeding. So Jacob had a really good idea just to spray paint it. So we're going to do that. I'm going to put all this away. Alright, so we gave the spray paint a little bit to dry. Let's see if it actually worked out. Hopefully. Oh my goodness, that was the ticket. Spray paint. That's perfect. Well, that turned out a lot better than expected. So I'm going to go ahead and paint the frame side white put a clear coat on this and um, that'll finish up the project. So our 
picture frame with the chessboard on the back is all done and it turned out amazing. Um, chess was a big part of my life when we were growing up. It's something that all of us kids could do together that challenged our minds and kept us busy and um, kept us off devices, not that we had them back then. So I'm excited to share that tradition with my own children, but do it in a way that the chessboard is always available. It's basically hidden in plain sight. Um, so a little before we get started playing, the project um, was just scrap pieces, so we spent nothing on the chess board. The chess pieces I think were six dollars. I ordered those off of Amazon. And the canister I think was three dollars. So we're about ten, bu ten bucks or so into this whole project, which I think is a real steal for such a um, attractive and fun addition to our home. So anyway, I'm going to teach my daughter how to play chess and hopefully next week we'll all be back to our ourselves and tackle another big project. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next Monday. All right, so do you understand? Hey, so what are you doing? What do you know about chess? Okay. Actually, I know that these only go like that. Yep. These pawns in their own color. Okay, so the pawns, they can either move two on the first one or one. Know that. And then after they move two, they can only go one. Mm. She's learning fast. Oh no, I'm gonna get your queen. <laughs> Why did I just tell you that? Them glasses are like almost like they're like they're like birth control. They are birth control. 